Have you ever thought to yourself, damn, I wish social media was just never fucking created. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, and we back. Hey all, I am Samil B, and thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I am your older sister, your aunt. I am a lifestyle channel, my life, my style. Um, it, that's if you're new here. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Don't nobody gotta know, this is between me and you. Don't nobody gotta know? Anyway, so today I want to talk about, what the fuck I, okay. I wanna talk about social, the social medias. That's what it's called, the social medias, okay. So I am breaking this video down into two points. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into number one. Social media made me feel like shit. Yeah, um, I wanna say bad, but no, nah, social media made me feel like shit. Um, 10, 10, maybe 11 years ago, we didn't have all of this social media and what we got going on now. Like, Everybody is either an influencer, an entrepreneur, a fitness guru, a music person, a photographer, a model, um, uh, shit, somebody that's selling a podcast, any damn thing. Like, you can be anything on social media. You really can. Um, like I said, 10, 11 years ago, social media was, for me, Facebook, MySpace, Black Planet. That should let you know how old I really am. Uh, but those three were the main three. And if you want to take it back even more, uh, maybe 12 or 13 years, though, those were the main three that we frequent on. Uh, that uh, before an, an Instagram, a, uh, a, a Vine. Well, Vine was actually back then too. But an Instagram, a, especially a TikTok. So, like, yes. So that's that's what social media for us. Um, if you're in my era, uh, social media, the social media. Um, everybody, not everybody. I'm just exaggerating. Not everybody. Most of the people um, are walking around flawless, or walking around with beautiful bodies are walking around looking very Afrocentric and non-bothered, uh, Eurocentric and non-bothered. Um, yeah, I think I said that right, Eurocentric. Um, very uh, uh, pleasing to be baby mama and, and non-bothered by it. Um, couple goals when the relationship ain't shit and not bothered by it. Um, yeah. Everything is posted on social media. Very rarely, unless you follow a person, do you get the behind the scenes of what goes on when it's not 100% kosher. Um, you know, I, social media made me feel bad because I went to college. I didn't get a chance to finish because I didn't have the funding, but I went to college and I had to drop out um, because my mom got sick with cancer and I had to tend to her. So I didn't get a chance to finish. And then, like I said, I ran out of funding. Um, and that was, what, 10, almost, almost 10 years ago, seven, eight, it's between seven and 10 years. So back then when we graduated out of high school, it was go get a job, go get, you know, go to, go to college, get a career, get a great job if you can, and then live your life and pay back those student loans. Now it's, you know, come out of high school, even if you don't finish high school, become an entrepreneur, become an influencer, be on TikTok and earn all this goddamn money. So um, I feel a little left out because nobody taught me the game about, um, at, at 20 and 18 years old, nobody taught me the game about being an influencer online, uh, having five rental properties by the time I was 
21. I'm sorry, I look out the window because I'm, I'm right about the window. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. But um, having five rental properties by 21, um, having a, a bad body and, and looking like a whole snack on, on the internet. Like nobody prepared me for the shit that I'm seeing now today and I feel left behind. I feel like 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 high school failed me for the life that I have now because in high school it was about getting good grades and going to college and getting a great career, which none of that happened for me. It was high school, college, community college, online college. I missed the whole college university uh, experience, which I hate. I really do. I uh, really do. And on, as a side note. Um, one day, and I will let everybody know when this happens, I am throwing a prom for uh, my era in high school, for my years in high school. So watch out for that next year. Anyway, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Don't I have to know that you subscribe, but me and you. All right, all right, I'm done with that. Okay, here we go. So I wasn't prepared for the social media boom that happened five years ago. Like. You can make it rich off of social media nowadays. If you put forth the effort, if you're consistent with what you're trying to sell or products you're trying to sell, or if you're trying to be an influencer, consistency works with social media. And I wish that somebody would have told me, gave me the sauce, gave me the game, like, look, sis, what you doing ain't it. And when you turn 35 or in your 30s, you're gonna be watching other people thrive and you're gonna be sitting back like, damn, you started a, a YouTube at 35 years old. And I, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that I did. It's, it's the best investment that I think I, I'm gonna have in my life. And yes, we are on the road to a thousand subscribers. We are at 202. I know we're gonna get there. I know we're gonna get there by next month because you're gonna tell all your friends about me and, and I'm gonna tell all my friends about me too. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. So. Um, yeah, social media has really made me feel like I ain't shit. Um, I definitely want to get into, and I have dibbled and dabbled in the entrepreneur game because I'm just like not the nine to five person that I thought I was going to be. I just, I, I hate taking orders. I hate being told when to go to the bathroom, all that stuff, all that stuff that just leads into having a job, a career, all that. Now, don't get me wrong. There are people out here that love their jobs, love their careers, and they ain't going nowhere. I love y'all, and I'm glad that y'all had the opportunity to experience that. But for us people that don't want to go to nobody's job and trying to figure out what the hell we need to do with our life, it's a little rough, a little rough. And I'm here to admit it. I'm admitting it's a little rough. So, like I said, I am not. I'm not going to go any more further, and I'm already eight minutes in, blabbing about how high school failed me for 10 years later. Moving on to point number two, social media made me change my way of thinking. Like I said before, it was about getting a job. It was about working a job. It was about having a nine to five and being able to support yourself. But as we know, a job stands for just over broke. If you have a job, not a career, but if you have a job, you are just over broke. You're just making it. You are paying them bills and you're still sick at the end of the week because you gotta wait on another check maybe the next Friday, the Friday after, the Wednesday after, the Wednesday next. It's a pattern and a cycle that we should not have to go through. I strongly believe that everybody can co-create their destiny. And when I say co-create, that's because the creator, God has the first and last word on your life. And now it's up to you what you wanna do about it. And looking into social media now is teaching me about um, my journey with spiritualism. I don't know if that's a word we're gonna use today. Uh, my self-care journey my journey to entrepreneurship, my journey to financial freedom, all this shit they didn't teach us in high school. So it's like, if you don't teach your kids what you know now about life, because high school's not teaching life lessons, go on and teach them kids them life lessons. Hold on, let me take a sip. Hold on, hold on. Okay. Sorry. I 
stuff. Ooh, the throat though. Anyway, I want y'all to teach y'all kids, y'all friends, y'all family, break those generational curses, you know, of, of, of this and of that, of money issues, of health issues, of attitude issues, of mental health issues. Break all of that. Like I said, I had to go to social media to get a better understanding of what life is supposed to be, as opposed to what we were taught growing up and in high school. Like I said, you're around my age and you graduated probably around that time or before, you were taught to go get a job after high school or after college or, or go get a career. And, and then, you know, you'll be able to live your life. But some of us, school wasn't for. Some of us didn't like school. But I like money. So I have to figure out what it is that I need to do to make that income that I really want to. And I enjoy YouTube. It's been four weeks and I took a hiatus, but I'm, I'm not taking them on hiatuses. Like I, I, we are on our way to bigger and better things. And if y'all are here with me, y'all gonna have so much fun. I promise you it's gonna be so much in store. Y'all might as well get on this train and, and get with me. Okay, let's let's get this, let's let's get it. Cause I know you with it, I'm with it. Let's do it. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me, off topic. Social media has definitely changed my way of thinking, of being more of a free thinker, of being more of an independent thinker of being more of a person that I know that I can make my own money. I don't have to rely on the big man or the boss to get my money or to get my, my paycheck. I've made money on my own, so I know that it's possible. It's just being consistent. It's just, you know, tapping in. You know, now it's about tapping in. And it's about believing in yourself. And it's about believing in God or whoever you believe in. And it's about consistency. I keep saying consistency because consistency is like the number one thing to success along with getting rid of procrastination. So again, social media was not at all, everything about social media ain't bad. It's some funny shit on there. It's some funny shit. And I always say to myself, I always say to my friends, like that damn internet, the internet just never, loses the internet never loses so tell me in the comments i want to hear from y'all how has social media made you feel has it made you grow has it kind of shrinking your mind about yourself has it made you feel bad i want to know in the comments i want to talk to y'all i want y'all to talk to me um i am samil b i hope y'all have a good evening Bye bye